Dear friends, Namaste and welcome back. In this second video, I will explain uh, some steps uh, of uh, mixed proportioning. Simultaneously, we will also discuss uh, the techniques as and when we encounter. Now, let's directly open the Excel sheet. This is the Excel sheet. Okay. So, as I already told you that I have taken that Annex A as an illustration to demonstrate. So, uh, in the first basic data, I'm just taking the values of specific gravities of various uh, ingredients that I used, such as cement admixtures, coarse aggregate, and fine aggregate. So, in the cement, uh, in the example, it was given. I will also quickly show the example. Uh, you can uh, understand the example. So I don't think uh, we need an explanation on this. This is the example on this NXR A. It is an illustration of designing M40 concrete. You have uh, the de details on proportioning. You have the details on materials like their properties and this is the steps first step rather to calculate our uh, proportioning in, the, in this step you will be calculating the targeted strength what cement ratio water content and net cement uh, and here in this step a7 you will be calculating the fractions of fine and coarse finally calculations and in the last step, A9, <clears throat> you will be presenting the data of proportion for trial one. So this uh, sequentially is implemented. Now coming back to the Excel sheet, right? So you can, uh, let's enter uh, the values for specific gravity of cement, 3.15 and a specific gravity of admixture 1.145. Uh, Codes and fine aggregates are having the same specific gravity. And uh, that's it. Now, uh, let us go to the step one targeted strength of mixed proportioning. See, I've given uh, M20 to M25 selection here the user can select in our case it is m40 now uh, i'll explain how we have implemented this drop down list let me take a new excel sheet for this purpose this is the new excel sheet let me open another excel sheet i will name it as lookup In my first video, I have explained what is lookup. Here, I will write M20, M25 through M50 or whatever. Say for an example, M60, right? So these values, uh, I want to um, uh, display in the list drop down list to do it first key these values in a separate excel sheet you can name it as lookup or you can name it as data or database whatever you like and afterwards you select all at a time you select all at a time go to the name box it is showing a one delete it give some name. This will be recognized as the name of the list because this is a list of grade of concrete. I prefer to give as grade, type grade, just press enter, click done. If you want to check, just you can open this name box, select the grade, all uh, the values will get selected showing that they come under one list. We have done one step. Go to the sheet one where 
you would like to display and give the label like concrete grade of concrete grade of concrete right here go to the data go to the data data tab and go to the validation tab here i'm showing just expand this validation tab data validation under the data validation in the popped up uh, menu you just a popped up window you just select list and source is equal to grade that's all right there you're done it is as simple as that now let's go back to the original excel sheet this is the original excel sheet here I just selected m40 so when i select m40 or m20 or m15 so source for this is as i already told you concrete mix proportioning code so m20 m25 you can see the characteristic mean strength is going to change you can see and also another variable another value assumed standard deviation is also changing and also targeted mean strength is also getting automatically calculated if i say m40 the characteristic mean strength is displayed as 40 and the assumed standard deviation is 5 and with these two values i am going to calculate the target strength target strength the code itself gave a formula let's go back to the code and check the formula quickly this is the equation given to calculate target strength fck dash is equal to fck fck is nothing but characteristic compressive strength at a day <clears throat> and fck dash is nothing but target average compressive strength at 28 day s is a standard deviation which you can get table one of the same code so let's go to the table one and quickly look what are, what is there in table one table one uh, will display the assumed standard deviation values for different grades of concrete see it is excuse me it is for m10 m15 grades that is the characteristic compression strength is 10 megapascals or newton per mm square or 15 megapascals or newton per mm square uh, the assumed standard deviation is 3.5 newton per mm square and so also for m20 and m25 it is 4 for remaining concretes it is 5 here uh, in the list if you can look i have avoided this m20 and m15 reasons are obvious generally uh, m20 and m15 you do not have any uh, mix proportioning methods generally we'll go for nominal mixes right and also for an example uh, if it is m15 we go for one is to two is to four right m20 also you can have a mix um, design mix and nominal mix one one and of three as nominal mix so that's the reason why i have avoided uh, this it's, it's not of uh, uh, big use uh, we need not calculate for these grades uh, a detailed uh, proportioning is not required so that's why i have incorporated these two uh, right from m20 to m45 now coming back to the excel sheet how i have extracted this value from the grade of the concrete we know that in uh, in this sim in notation m40 m stands for mix 40 stands for character 28 day characteristic compressive strength expressed in newton per mm square so if uh, user selects a grade of concrete 20 i should extract 20 as a compressive strength 
uh, if I if the user selects 40, I should extract 40. How done it? Let me try to explain this. Let me go to the new Excel sheet again. There's the new Excel sheet. Depending upon the user's selection, we should display the characteristic mean strength, characteristic compressive strength. I'll put it as CCS. So uh, how I can display this? First, let user selects grade of concrete. Suppose if he selects 30, I should display that uh, if the user selects M30, I should display 30 Newton per mm square. 30 I should display in this cell. So how I can do it? There is a Excel function on strings called write or AGST. This you should give the text. This is the text and how many characters that you should extract from the right. From the right, I want to, I'm interested to extract two characters. So comma to enter. That's it. 30. But there is a small uh, problem here. We cannot use this value for computations because this is a text type. So you may ask me how. Because generally when you enter something, if it is a text, automatically it will be justified uh, in the left. If you enter a number, it will be justified in the right. Suppose if I same 30, if I enter, it will go here. So also uh, Excel have certain predefined methods like is number which will return a Boolean value if you enter a, uh, a, 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 if you give a cell, uh, it will read the value in that cell. If it is a number, it enters, it returns a Boolean value true, else false. Let's see, is number. So select F4, that's all. No, false, it's not a number. Now, the thing is how I can, make it as a number. It is very simple. You nest this right uh, function in a value function. Value will convert a text to the <coughs> number. So how can we do this? Just value, value, text, enter. That's it. Now you can see it has become true. And also this has come to right side. Right, uh, let's go back to the main Excel sheet. This is the Excel sheet. So I, al I have also given this uh, in the Excel sheet. Now, uh, based on that, I've used simple if condition, simple if condition to uh, get the standard deviation value, I assume the standard deviation value. So generally, uh, nesting of if statement is a little bit confusing for the beginners, for the beginners only. So especially when you have three ifs, four ifs coming, generally people will make mistake in the parenthesis. They either put one parenthesis excess or uh, uh, they may put one uh, parenthesis less, both will alter the logic and throw error messages. I will give you one short, uh, one simple technique, very simple technique, uh, uh, so that we can avoid this. So let us directly go and implement that. For an example, on this particular uh, value, uh, uh, if we want to include incorporate the logic, Let's say how we can do it. If it is 20 and uh, 25, what is the value that we have to display as uh, as assumed targeted strength, four and four, four only. Let's look into the table. This is uh, for 20 and 25, uh, four. For remaining six, 30 through 55, it is five uh, only. So 30 through M30. 30, 35, okay, 55, it is 5 only, right? The target assumed target mean strength is 5 only. 
so how i can do it with the help of simple logic so here these two is having one value and <laughs> excuse me remaining things are having one value so it is only one if statement is sufficient here let's see how we can incorporate this assumed standard deviation asd is equal to whenever you put if the secret is whenever you give an open parenthesis immediately give the closing parenthesis as well simple this is the secret so if you don't give this closing parenthesis and stop developing your if statements especially the complex one complex in the sense if the if statements are nested suddenly we may, we may make mistakes in uh, in closing parenthesis the number may not match properly that is the only problem that we generally get so my suggestion is when you open a parenthesis immediately close it this is the secret done next what is the logic here for if the uh, characteristic mean strength is either 20 or 25 assumed standard deviation is 4 right so or we should use or operator you know how to use or operator or you should write the values in the parenthesis so or also when you put or and not whatever when you open parenthesis, you immediately close it. That's all. When you open parenthesis, immediately close it. You have done. Then go back to the OR. If this value is equal to 20 or it could be even 25. So put comma. If this value is equal to 25 if this is the condition logic rather so you enter uh, the test comma true value if it is true enter 4 do not put in double quote if you put double quote it will become a text next for remaining things you need not check anything whatever may be the value you can display false as 5. One may get a genuine doubt. What if a user uh, enters some value wrongly or out of uh, or wantedly? So generally we are given the combo selection. So we are, we are restricting the user uh, to uh, select certain mixed proportioning and uh, based on that we are extracting the uh, characteristic compression strength value so generally uh, it won't uh, happen and if you if the still uh, if the user enters a value overwrites and enters a value then you can't do anything except um, uh, locking that particular cell so enter that song that's all for n30 onwards but it is so simple it's very simple the same thing we have incorporated here I have used uh, for M10 and M25. You can remove it. It's not required anyway because uh, we are not even giving that in the selection. You can remove it. Okay. That's all uh, in this video. We'll meet in the next video for subsequent discussion. Thank you all.